Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to download and install Android Studio on your Windows 11 operating system. Before we begin, please note that you need to have Java installed on your system. So, first, we'll go through the steps to install the Java JDK, and then we'll move on to installing and using Android Studio. So let's dive right in. First, open your browser and search for Java JDK download. Click on the first link, which should be from Java Downloads. I will also provide this link in the description for easy access. On the Oracle page, scroll down to find the version of Java you want to download. As of the time of making this video, Java 22 is the latest version available. Select the Windows option and then click on the EXE installer link to download the Java JDK. Once the EXE file is downloaded, click on it to start the installation. If prompted by user account control, click Yes to allow changes. In the Java setup window, click Next. The installer will show the default installation path, usually in Drive CE. If you don't have a specific reason to change it, just click Next to proceed. Wait for the installation to complete. Once done, click Close. Java is now installed, but we still need to set up environment variables. To set the environment variables, click on the search icon and type Edit the system environment variables, then select it. In the System Properties window, click on Environment Variables. Under System Variables, find and select the Path variable, then click Edit. In the Edit Environment Variable window, click New. Then, navigate to the folder where Java was installed, which is Drive C, then Program Files, and then Java. Copy the address up to the bin folder within the JDK directory and paste it in the Environment Variable window. Then click OK. To set the Java Home variable, click New under User Variables. Name it Java underscore Home in all capital and for the value, paste the path to the JDK directory excluding the bin folder. Click OK to save. Click OK to close all windows. To verify Java installation, open the command prompt by typing CMD in the search bar. In the command prompt, type Java version and press Enter. If everything is set up correctly, you should see the version of Java that you installed. Now that Java is set up, Let's install Android Studio. Open your browser and search for Android Studio Download. The first link should be from Developer Android Studio. Click on it. Click the Download Android Studio button on the website. Accept the license agreement and the download will begin. Once downloaded, right-click the installer and select Run as Administrator. Follow the setup wizard, clicking Next to accept the defaults unless you have a specific reason to change them. After the installation is complete, check the box to start Android Studio and click Finish. When Android Studio launches for the first time, you'll see a data sharing window. Choose whether or not you want to send usage statistics to Google, then click Next. In the setup wizard, select the standard installation type Click Next to continue. Review the setup summary and click Finish to start downloading the necessary components. This may take some time. Once setup is complete, you will see that the Android Studio has started. Click Start a new Android Studio project to start your project. You can open a project or get it from VCS. In the More Action menu, you will see a bunch of options like Import Code Sample, Debug APK and SDK Manager. On your right side, you have a customized option to change the appearance and more. You can also add plugins from the plugins menu. That's all. The installation and the setup process is now completed. You can now start working on your project. If this video helped you out, make sure to join the Show Me Software free newsletter. It's linked in the description below. In this newsletter, I will tell you about the latest software tools and AI that can make you more productive at work and also improve your personal life in many different ways. You can also reply to these emails with any technical support questions you might have, and I'll do my best to help you out for free. 
This newsletter is completely free and will always be free. So click the link in the description to sign up.